Hey everyone, Ben Yunsen here. What you just heard was a short improvisation on my Strat, and you're going to hear a lot more of that in a moment. I first picked up this Strat almost 10 years ago now, and some of you who've been following me for some time might even know me best for having played this guitar. Well today, I'm going to be playing it once again, because Strat tones are really some of my favorite tones that you can possibly get out of a guitar, and I'm going to play through a vast array of sounds that you can get out of this instrument. Getting a great Strat sound actually turned out to be a really important developmental part of my playing, because it turned out that this instrument was versatile enough for me to take it from pop recording sessions to straight ahead jazz gigs in jazz clubs, all the way to using it on my own albums and recordings where the music might be somewhere between those two worlds. Before we go any further, make sure to hit subscribe down below and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my future playing videos, lesson videos, or live streams. And if you'd like to learn my approach to guitar, make sure to join me over at bensguitarclub.com, where you can check out all of my guitar masterclasses including 20 melodic etudes for rhythm guitar, where you can learn how to play some of the rhythm guitar based approaches that you might hear me playing today, as well as my very latest masterclass, 40 improvised lines for guitar soloing, which focuses on a single note approach to playing. For me, the best place to start in terms of learning how to get a great sound out of a Strat is just by going through the five pickup switching settings that come standard on pretty much all Strats and using a great clean sound with some basic EQing. For me, I always try to rein in the high end or treble because the Strat is naturally a very bright sounding guitar, mostly because of the presence of three single coil pickups. So to ensure that my sound isn't too bright, I usually end up doing some basic EQing on my amp, where I cut the treble a little bit, and also cut some of the bass, and I boost the mids a little bit to make the overall sound a little warmer without being too dull. Something else to be aware of with a Strat, as you may already know, is that it's an incredibly dynamically responsive guitar. You don't have to pick that hard on a Strat to get a great sound out of it. A little bit like this. <laughs> Picking harder than that can result in a completely different sound, maybe something a bit like this. And that's just another great sound that you can really only get out of this type of single coil pickup configuration. And you'll hear that type of playing a lot in R&B or funk type music played by great guitarists throughout history like Nile Rodgers or Ira Siegel or David Williams or Steve Lukather and many other great guitarists as well. But generally speaking, when I'm soloing on the Strat, I find that I don't have to pick that hard to get a consistent sound, at least not by comparison with a guitar that has a tunematic bridge, where I find that I sometimes have to pick a little bit harder. I wonder if you've had this experience. Let me know in the comments. The dynamically responsive nature of the Strat, where I can go from really quiet to really loud, probably has something to do with the 25 and a half inch scale of the guitar neck, the single coil pickups. Some have even said it's to do with the neck being bolted on. I think it's probably just a combination of all of these things in the one guitar. Let's get into some playing where we'll check out some of the clean sounds that we can get out of this guitar, starting with the neck pickup. In this guitar, I have some Seymour Duncan Antiquity 2 pickups that I really love. And I'll be getting the most out of the dynamic range that this guitar has by using some Dunlop Tortex Sharp picks, which I feel work really great. Let me know which one of these sounds is your favorite. Let's start with the neck pickup.
Let's move on to the neck and middle pickups. It's probably my favorite sound that you can get out of a Strat, and I find this setting to be particularly dynamically responsive. Let's hear it clean. <laughs> Now let's try the middle pickup on its own. You won't hear this pickup being used like this in a lot of contexts, but I don't think it's to be underestimated either. Let's hear it played clean. <laughs> Now it's time for my other favorite Strat pickup setting, and that is the middle and bridge setting. Another uniquely Strat sound. Let's hear it clean. <laughs> And finally, another underused, possibly underestimated Strat sound, the single coil bridge sound. It's twangy, but is also warm and has a lot of clarity. Let's hear this one played clean. <laughs> So you should get a good sense of what the five main pickup settings of a Strat sound like. Now let's change things a little bit by putting on some drive. I love making the sound of my Strat bigger by putting on a little bit of drive, but I don't want to put too much on because I feel that you start to lose the Strattiness, if you will, of the guitar. So I don't want to drown out with distortion. You'll be hearing a touch of drive through a combination of my amp and also the Tech 21 Oxford, which I like to use to get a slightly bigger sound out of the guitar. Let me know which one of these ones is your favorite. Once again, we'll start with the neck pickup. <laughs>
Now let's check out the neck and middle with a bit of drive. Now let's hear the middle pick up with some drive on. Now it's time for the middle and bridge pickups with a bit of drive. And finally, let's hear that twangy single coil bridge pickup with some drive on. Which one was your favourite? Was it one of the clean sounds I played earlier, or one of the overdriven sounds? Drop a comment and let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this exploration into the sounds that you can get out of a Strat. I've actually missed playing this guitar a lot, and you never know, you might have convinced me to start picking it up and playing it again. If you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe down below and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my new playing videos, lesson videos, live streams or fun explorations into Strat tone like this one. And if you'd like to learn my approach to playing, join me at bensguitarclub.com. I'll see you next time.